Good morning, dear students. Through this video, let us take a quick recap of the poem Foreign Lands written by Robert Louis Stevenson. He was a Scottish novelist, poet, and a travel writer. He is known for his best collections of poetry for children. This poem describes what a child sees as he climbs to the top of a cherry tree. To a grown up person, the things he sees may seem ordinary because the curiosity decreases with age. But the child finds the same things more exciting and the child wishes to climb still higher to see many more things. So let's find out what else he sees from the top of a tree. The speaker is a child here. And in the first stanza, he holds the trunk of a tree with both his hands and climbs to the top of a cherry tree. Then he describes the things he could see from a height, which otherwise he was not able to see. And so he termed all such places as foreign lands. In the second stanza, the child sees the garden next door that is decorated with beautiful flowers. Means the garden was full of colorful flowers. And other than the garden, he saw many pleasant places which he had never seen before. Moving on, the child sees a blue river. And why the river is blue here? Because the water is absolutely clean so it appears to be a sky's blue looking glass then he sees some dusty roads on which people are walking into the town and in the end the child poet wished for a higher tree than the present cherry tree so that he could see more beautiful places such as the place where the river enters the sea among the ships and where the roads lead into a fairy land where children have their meals at five o'clock and all the toys come alive and the children have lots of fun and they live their life freely. Thank you. Have a great day ahead, children.